Yo YouTubers! Welcome to part two of this outdoor beer review extravaganza! <laughs> and um, earlier on the video I said that I thought it was the 27th on the first review I did for the Buxton's Brit Hop. I said it was the 27th, it's the 28th today. It's the 28th of March 2022 the time so you know and I'm still out in my veranda 17.33 in the evening so there and I've got my old man green card on the chair back so you can see see my old man green card again roll the sleeves down to show you the full effect Snappers! <laughs> we teach you about how to drink your alcohol, buddy! <laughs> okay, let's go. Drink number two today, a special review. Uh, summer's. Well, spring has begun. And uh, it's an all British affair, and I actually went to Marks and Sparks. I don't go to Marks and Sparks, but you know what? I went all the way to Marks and Sparks today because I had to go to B&Q basically in the area to get some wood to make me um me, me water heater thing you know what i mean so i had to buy some wood brand new wood so while i was there in the area and there's a marks and sparks yeah i was allowed in but they didn't ask me for a certificate or, or a pass card and we got this <laughs> nine hop Kent Pale Ale from Marks and Spencers. Brewed by Westerham Brewery, Westerham Kent. Specially brewed for Marks and Sparks. I hardly ever go with Marks and Sparks, mate. Right, and there's a nice little label says a huge charge of hoppy, citrus, lemony aromas balanced by a multi smooth finish 4% that's what it says there don't it and <laughs> made with British hops uh, ingredients pale ale it's a pale ale Kent Kent's pale ale if you don't mind. It says ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, carbon dioxide, yeast. And there's no information about it. Oh we are. About this beer. Kent's pale ale has nine different types of Kent bread and grown hops. Target. Goldings, Pilgrim, Sovereign, Progress, First Gold, WGV, Brambling Cross, and Finch Cox, Spirit of Kent. A perfect match for this hoppy citrusy ale stands up well. It's a spicy curries and is also great with smoked fish or fish and chips. I mean, gone with the wind label or what, mate? And look at that. For Paul Cook, there the Sex Pistols. Paul Cook Breweries. Well, he worked in a brewery, didn't Paul Cockman? Anyway, we've got the pissy cake, the um, Belgian thing, for no apparent reason. Let's get an open, let's see what we've got. Let's go, it's getting cold out here now, so I'm going to do the last one on here. Got one more beer. 
I was hoping to stay what, like all three of them here on the veranda, but pff, it's freezing now. There you go. Ah, and I didn't need my microscope. Yeah, magnifying glass once. Alright, let's go. Let's pour this beer out. Let's see what we got. Nine hops, eh? We'll see, won't we? Well, I'll tell you what. Lovely colour. Lovely colour. And you can see the bubbles in that. There's bubbles in there. Like big, huge bubbles. Like as if uh, someone's put a bit of washing up liquid in there. <laughs> but anyway, nine hop Kent. And it's actually Westerham Brewery. West Ham or Westerham. Freezing here now. It's actually freezing. But it's not freezing like anyway. Yeah, it smells nice. Um Amber coloured, not too much carbonation. Let's have a cum shot. Be very careful, like you can see that's not really um you know just... <laughs> You never know, do ya? You never really know, do ya? <laughs> Doesn't look really like fine quality or anything, does it? Nine hops. Kent's pale ale. Let's go for it. Um, smell wise, kind of a rosy smell. Nice, gentle, fresh. I'm just being a piss out here, to be honest. <laughs> I am just being a piss head. Let's go for it. Up oh, hell yeah. Odd. Odd. Like a tinny metallic flavour to it. I don't love it or I hate it. Um, I like that, I like that, it's nice, but it is a kind of, yeah, copper, copper flavour, I don't know. Not spectacular, but it reminds me of a homebrew. It reminds me of when you brew a homebrew. And it's got that like just brewed right just around the corner. It's just brewed around the corner kind of thing, you know. Um looks great in the glass, looks lovely. Uh, it's got nine hops in, but you couldn't, wouldn't tell. You know what I mean? I wouldn't there's any anything essentially nine hoppy about this like. It's very gentle, it's like a real ale. Like a pale ale, a Kentish pale ale. Like a Kent pale ale. Whatever that is. Um yeah. It reminds me of um Adnum's Oh shit, reminds me of that. Really nice quality, really sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Lots of biscuity maltiness to it. But surprisingly tame considering there's nine hops in there, yeah. But it's probably just before bed you'd notice that, isn't it? 
but yeah, it's looking great in the glass. And I feel like a real expert doing this in the sunlight. <laughs> we have a right angle. Then over there. Yeah. Nice. I'm giving that. I'm giving that an 8. I'm giving that an 8 out of 10 because I'm not really sure what to expect, you see, but to me, I like it. It's, it, it's, it, 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 it's 4%. It's got that bready biscuit, you know. Lovely. Yeah, it was £2, by the way. So for a bottle of beer, £2, it had reduced on it, it should have been £2.50 and it was reduced from £2.50 to £2 from Marks and Spencers. Um, bit of a change isn't it? And I'm getting a lovely fruity taste there, it's nice. And all the aftertastes and everything. Lots of fruity flavours. Very delicate though, summer berries. Bit of orange, bit of lemon. But yeah, I like that. If it's got nine hops in it, I'm a bit surprised. It should be hoppy, hoppy, like hoppy ecstatic. <laughs> but to me, as a as a as a piss head on my veranda, you see the colour though looks fantastic, doesn't it? Because I've got pure sunlight going on now. I've got ultraviolet light going on now today, guys. Not sure about that. That's not the real sun. Is it look at me view? Are you ready for this? Just put the glass on. Oh. That's my view off my veranda. <laughs> Camera stand tripod. Bastard. Thing. Kenny, Kenny King impersonation. It's not bad at all. It's got a wheaty. I mean, I expected a big explosion of hoppy flavours, and it's not doing that. It's narrowed down, it's bottlenecked into this sweet, biscuity. We're going to go nine. We're going to go for a nine. We're going to go for a nine. I'm giving that a nine. I like that. Because I feel pleasant and that. Look at, the, look at the label. We'll be able to get it off and that way. Like, we'll recycle our bottles. Bell ends. <laughs> anyway. It's a fine one, yeah. I'll give that a 9 out of 10. I like that. But it's just, you know, I mean, there's too many beers to try, isn't it? And, you, and you're never going to go back to them, are you? Because, you, you know, you've got loads of favourites already. You know? Alright, let's go. 9 out of 10. Weather. Westerham Brewery. The official there, uh, and that's Marks and Spencer's. Thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs> the sunlight, nice. Piece of bed.
<laughs> Later.